five. In this video, we are doing a thrift flip. We are thrifting the flippings. So this idea started about a couple days ago. I wanted to go to a Goodwill and, and try and find something unique and juicy to thrift. I couldn't find anything. And then I realized, damn, I have a whole bunch of shit out. One thing about me, I always buy too many frames. So I went through my shit. And what do you know? I found a whole bunch of stuff. So I narrowed it down to three. So the first one I found was like a green frame with like a creamy middle and it had eggs. It was like a, it was like a print of eggs or rocks. It was eggs or rocks. Like it looks like eggs and it could also be rocks. And the second option was a, a Renaissance gold frame with like this little girl going like this. She was like, and she's like, oh, in a white dress. It's pretty basic. And the third option was like a creamy frame. It was wooden with like a creamy burlap around it. There's flowers and, you know, butterflies. And those were my three options. But I couldn't narrow it down by myself. So I asked my lovely Patreon friends, which one did they want to see flipped? Option one, option two, and option three. But I didn't stop there. I had to make some idea sketches. I had to make something so y'all could visualize. So the first one, I incorporated the egg rocks into what I would flip it into, you know what I mean? The second one, I would pretty much just paint a whole different painting. And same thing with the third one because I couldn't really incorporate the butterflies. So with the thrifted artwork and the sketches, my Patreon chose number two. This is it. This was a haul $3.99 at Goodwill. Okay, giving me absolutely nothing. I don't know who this is by. I bought this a long time ago. I'm pretty sure I just bought it because I liked the frame and I was going to do this anyways, but now I can make a video on it. First, we have to take it apart. <laughs> Unboxing time. Unboxing time. I got my tool. Try my best to get this open. I ruined it. Oh, oh, <laughs> Never mind. it is pretty easy. Ooh, ain't that nasty. So I was afraid that it wasn't gonna have this. Like it has a little frame. Cause I was afraid I was gonna have to put something on top, like another flat layer. So that's good that I don't have to do that. But what sucks is they put these damn staples and I forgot, I, I lost my tool already. Okay, so this is what we're working with. It's a warped ass piece of cardboard. I don't, I can't do nothing with this. Yeah, I'm not gonna paint on a piece of paper that's glued to a piece of cardboard, so uh, I need to find something around this size that I can recreate. I think I got some stuff, come with me. Grape break. <laughs> Let's go find a frame. Hi guys, we'll go to my trunk. This is my trunk. This is where I keep all of my baby canvases, my reused ones. I'm just gonna grab a whole bunch of them. One of these should fit. Let's get back to the desk. There we go. That's not gonna fit. No. Ooh, ooh. Oh, but I hate this canvas. Does this fit? Oh. This was actually a self-portrait that I painted over a long time ago. I'm gonna do the canvas. I like the canvas. I think it's time to go ahead and paint, so meet me at the easel. So this is gonna be the first of many attempts to try and get this painting done. So this side profile was really difficult. At first I wanted to go in just straight. I didn't wanna go based on too much of a reference, but the second I started filling things in, I completely lost the structure of this painting. I went in with, first of all, went in with way too much paint, way too many colors without rendering certain areas, especially by the eyes and the nose. It was at this point where I did take a couple reference photos of myself to try and carve out some ideas because the shapes were not giving. I also wanted this person to be more androgynous, but because I was using a reference photo of myself, as always, it is going to look like me because everything I paint essentially kind of looks like me. But I was losing some of that softness in the face, especially in that the eyebrow region. I wanted the same vibes the sketch was given. Just something kind of soft, but also really pretty and strong. Like, you know what I mean? I did like this painting. However, you know what it was given? It was given those, the paintings from ancient Egypt 
that were made out of wax or maybe it was grease i can't remember but i put one up but it kind of reminded me of those which are they're stunning they're beautiful but it wasn't the same vibe the sketch was given but as i mentioned this is one of many hurdles that i had to go through in this whole entire process and you will see soon hey guys hey guys this is what we're working with um i don't like it it's a little basic lighting isn't as dramatic as i want it to be so i think i'm going to add more dramatic lighting i'm going to soften up the face a little bit let's 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 do this again let's try this again day two let's fix this to be honest i don't even want to go through what i'm doing at this point because it was just a huge mistake the the everything i'm going through in these stages that you see here are just experimental. I had given up already at this point. I just wanna let you know that I had given up. And here's the first wipe down because the second I realize that I'm not doing anything better than what was there before, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna erase it. I'm gonna wipe everything off and start from scratch. And then here comes the second problem because then I went in with like a lighter color and then I said, nope, not doing that. Wipe down. And then I continue the process. So I'm going to let y'all watch my mistakes. Now, this was a sketch where I thought I was eating. I thought I was going somewhere with this one. I was like, oh, check it out. It's looking good until I realized I didn't like it. And then I wiped it all off and pretty much restarted again. But I did have to give myself a little grace because I have not oil painted in a very long time. So, you know, this is very normal when I haven't painted in a long time. I just kind of slowly but surely forgot how to do it. And uh, as you can see here, I'm struggling. This is hours upon hours of work that pretty much just went nowhere. This, these, all these attempts just went nowhere. And this was one of the final attempts on this painting. Uh, and as you can see, I'm trying something weird with the shadows and it was just, it was not it. I wouldn't say this whole process though was not a waste of time. And that's why I'm keeping it in this video because I could just polish it and be like, oh, look what I made. No, this is the reality. I was struggling hours upon hours. I wanted to get this done within a week. It took me about two weeks because I forgot how to paint. But this did show me one thing. I still got it <laughs> because this last attempt, actually, no, not this attempt because I ended up covering it up. But I will come back to the canvas because I gave up on the canvas. Hey, guys. Uh, update. I'm switching over to canvas paper because I don't want to waste another canvas. This failed. I'm going to keep on with the same design, but I'm going to just plop it on here and wish for the best. So after the many failed attempts, I ended up just cutting up some, you know, canvas paper and taping it up on a board. And I was like, let's try this. Maybe a different surface might help. You know what I mean? Sometimes that does help. Sometimes a, a drier surface can really you know, change the look of a painting. And sometimes I like that, sometimes I don't. But long story short, I struggled once again because this was just so difficult. For some reason, I could not get the right sketch. And I think that was the main part. I couldn't get the sh shapes and the form to fit where I wanted because I had no idea how to make a side profile. <laughs> uh, I thought I mastered them, but I guess not because I, I completely forgot how to do them. I thought I was going somewhere with this. I, I, I was like, okay, this is a decent base, but I had put way too much paint down and nothing was really popping. Like all the, every time I put a black down, it would get so light. I could tell I was rushing this one. I was rushing this one and I was falling into the same thing where I was putting way too much paint on the canvas. Also did not know proportions. I was not following any proportions. I was kind of looking at the reference photo I took of myself, but what the hell is that nose and those lips? Like, it's like I forgot to draw. It was so bad. And I didn't feel most of this because I probably struggled just as much on this as I did on the canvas. And the sad part is I was not recording when it finally clicked in my brain how to make a side profile. And on top of that, how to paint. So you won't see this this particular one come together from start to finish. You'll kind of see it from the middle point, but you'll see how different I paint after all of these practices.
So I'm actually editing this video a little weird because this is actually the practice I did before finishing the one on the canvas paper. This is actually just regular paper. I wanted to do another practice. I thought I had, you know, one good try in me before completely ditching this whole idea. So I just took a regular sheet of paper. Well, it's actually not regular, but it's Bristol paper. So it's really thick and nice. But, um, I thought I had one more chance in me before completely ditching this idea. And this was the best start I had to any of the other paintings. So I was, I was pretty hype. And like I said, I finished this one before actually finishing the one on the canvas paper, if that makes sense. But I wanted them all to be together so y'all didn't get confused. Also, oil painting on paper, underrated, underrated. Go ahead and try it. It's delicious. But make sure you put gesso down first. So now it's time to go back to this damn canvas because I, I really wanted this to be on a canvas and not really on paper or even canvas paper. So here going back to the regular canvas, I tried again. And let me tell you something clicked, something clicked inside of my brain where I'm like, oh damn, I remember how to paint. This is kind of lit. This is actually kind of fun. Like. This is pretty easy. Like I finished this very quickly, but unfortunately I ran out of space on my SD card and I was in the zone and I didn't feel like wiping it. So this is what it looked like on the first round. And this is gonna be the second layer of paint so I could really make this portrait really pop out and really vibrant. It's been a few days, the paintings are dry, but I'm impatient so we're gonna go ahead and varnish because they look ashy as hell. I did varnish the paper one already. I just put some Ganvar on it, very thin. As you can see, the color's kind of rejuvenated. Let's go ahead and hurry up and finish this damn project before I rip my hair out. So let's varnish the canvas and the canvas paper. Now, I would be lying if I told you that varnishing was my favorite part because I actually don't really like varnishing my paintings too much. Sometimes it just gives a very artificial look to the paint. Like it was like it's been printed or if it's it's too flat, you know what I mean? But uh, this really did help the look of this painting and uh, I really ended up liking it. I like I like the way it looks with this varnish, but I don't, I don't do it a lot. And it's kind of nerve wracking because I don't want dust to collect on the surface and stuff. So I get really particular on that. So here's all the babies. This is what they all look like. Check them out, all varnished up and done. This is how different they kind of look. But my favorite has got to be the canvas and the canvas paper. But before I put it away, I have to clean this musty, dusty ass frame. Oh my gosh, I was shocked. Look how, look how different the brightness was. The shine was beautiful. Once I got that, you know, polished up a little bit, the back, I about it crawled out of my skin. Look at this. Look at the, when I noticed how dirty it was, ugh. but then I figured it was just dirt. So I wasn't that disgusted by it. But once I sprayed, I was like, Ooh, this is getting nasty. I put on a glove. I said, no, thank you. No, thank you. I also like rinsed it and like used soap too, because I don't know. I couldn't get all this stuff off, but once it was clean, I, I did some final rub down. I, I forgot to get this part and it was actually really white instead of like a cream, which was kind of off putting. I wish I would have just left it dirty. And then I took some of this wax gold stuff. It's really nice because it, you just pat it down and pretty much goes everywhere you want. And we're done. This is the first one in the canvas.
But I can't forget my second favorite, so I stuck this in the frame too, just to show you what it would look like. Which one is your favorite? Let me know down below, and thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video, and be sure to stay creative, stay juicy, and let me know what we should do next time.